Hey, it's Jason Thrifts, America's number one thrifter, and I'm back with scores of the week number 11. And man, do I got some amazing stuff to share with you this week. Thanks for tuning in. This is my weekly scores video. They're uh, shorter than my hour-long videos, uh, but just wanted to highlight some of my scores and give you some more information. Now, this Robert Graham shirt I did share on Thrifty Business uh, this past week, uh, sold for 70 bucks. If you're not familiar with Robert Graham shirts, one of the uh, key distinguishing features is the the cuffs are meant to be worn folded back, like in my picture. But usually, the underside of the cuff, the cuff when it's now the top side, when worn backwards, is uh, a lot more uh, cont uh, uh, contrasting than this. This one was so plain. I still bought it because it was new with tags. It was only a small, but new with tags. I got 70 bucks, but I want to show you, here's kind of the norm. Look at the shirt and look at the cuff. See how there's a big different uh, difference there? So that's kind of the norm. And if again, if you're not familiar with Robert Graham shirts, here's a used one with a not the best picture that just sold for $350. So write down Robert Graham, put it on your bolo list and make sure to look for it. All right, uh, I did share this on uh, Thrifty Business last week. It was a uh, action figure of the uh, classic Wolfman. And it was new. However, the packaging was so tore off, only the lower corner was still holding it on. So I couldn't sell it as new. I sold it as used, but I did say new, unused, still in packaging, has never been taken out. Plastic casing has been peeled away from the back and just being held in one little corner. Since I shared this on the show, I got the feedback from the customer. Awesome. Five-star seller. Super nice, wonderful communication. Two thumbs way up. So you can sell new things that are still new, but kind of are beat up. As long as you're honest with the condition, you will get glowing feedback. And I picked this up at Savers, I think for eight bucks, sold it for $55. All right, happy Halloween. Two little skeletons. You might not think this shirt is much, and you're like, why would you get $30 for that shirt? It's because of the brand. Screen Stars Best is something that uh, people who love these late 80s, early 90s t-shirts want. Screen Stars Best, made in the USA, 50, 50, 50 cotton, 50 polyester. And so typically you can sell all kinds of shirts, things you wouldn't normally pick up. Like if you saw this shirt that was made at Walmart last week, you wouldn't buy it. But a vintage uh, early 90s screen stars best, you would absolutely buy it. Picked it up for five bucks or six bucks, sold it for $30. TV VCRs, did you know they haven't made VCRs in like seven years or six years? So when you find TV VCRs, they are hot commodities. This was on Facebook Marketplace for less than a day, maybe about 12 hours before it sold for $135 plus shipping. I paid 15 whole dollars for this. So make sure you are checking out the TV VCR section. Now, you might think, wow, Jay, great job on selling a Tiki mug for $165. I paid a lot for this mug. I didn't make a lot, but I knew I wasn't going to, but I bought it in a whole collection of mugs. And when all the smoke cleared, I cleared a $25 profit, which doesn't seem like a lot. But when you find things that are in your wheelhouse, in your norm, tiki mugs are in my norm. It's super duper easy for me to list them and usually super duper easy for me to sell them because I only cherry pick the best mugs. So making a $25, $25 profit on a, on a tiki mug, it's not too bad. I tend to make more profit on tiki mugs, but today I made $60 profit on a mug. I didn't mind making 25 because I knew I could flip it quickly and make a little profit. So I didn't mind. I just realized I forgot my, my graphics that Nadine did, my regular and my music graphics. All right, here's my music scores of the week. Uh, Andy J. Forrest, I know you're all familiar with them. I'm not either, but I've been working my way through 7,000 LPs. I've been selling a ton of them. So coming up within about a month, I'll have my newest class flipping vinyl. So stay tuned for the sign up for that. And I just sold this John Coltrane for uh, 75 bucks, double LP. Now, if you haven't taken my courses in the past, FlippinCDs.com will get you to my Flippin' CDs number one, number two, Flippin' Cassettes, and a variety of extras. There is so much money to be made in Flippin' Cassettes and CDs. If you're new to me, if you're new to my channel, be prepared to be like gobsmacked. You're going to be like, what? So I teach you all the things that I know in my courses, Flippin' CDs number one, number two, Flippin' Cassettes, and coming soon to a screen near you, flipping vinyl. So let's start with a cassette. This is a used, used 
cassette that I paid. Well, it was 99 cents at Savers. I had 20% off, so 79 cents, and I sold it for $35, Rage Against the Machine. Someone fought me the other day and, and said, uh, there's no way cassettes sell. And then I showed a screenshot, and they're like, you're just trying to fight me. I'm like, no, I'm trying to educate you. So I showed a Pink Floyd that sold for 30 last week. How about a Rage Against Machine that sold for 35 this week? Donovan. Uh, if you know Donovan, you'd be shocked to know how many CDs are out by Donovan. It's all, I think he's on multiple labels and different, uh, different titles on multiple. It's, it's weird, but there are quite a few Donovan CDs that are worth a lot of money. Here is a, a case in point. Donovan storyteller, super audio CD, $74. Now, I did pay 20 for it, but I knew that 20 was a good investment and I sold it for $74. An even better return was I bought this brand new at Amoeba Records for $8. Eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I sold it for $100. Uh, shipped it today. $100 on Amazon. I mean, what? All right. So we're going to end on this score this week because this is the best one I've had in a while. Do you know who E Power Briggs is? Now, I'm assuming you know uh, John Sebastian Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, the composer, the, the long dead composer. These are four great toccatas and fugues, the fourth antiphonal organs of the Cathedral of Freiburg, played simultaneously by E. Power Biggs. Now, I know Bach. The rest of that, I have no idea. But and the thing I teach is uh, when you use the tools that you have in your hand, meaning your phone, and some knowledge and some different websites, you will figure out when you should be dropping $23 on a used CD. Now, most of you would not drop $23 on a used CD. And if you didn't, you wouldn't have this kind of return. $175. I haven't had, uh, I've had a lot of $100 CDs. We just saw one. Haven't had $175 in quite a while now. $175 bought this at my local record store for $23. Now, once you've picked yourself up, <laughs> head over to my uh, flippingcds.com and get signed up because you know you want to make some money just like I do. Flippingcds.com, get over there right now. Now, uh, other places to find me Thursday nights, we have I do my show, uh, Thrifty Business. And that is on YouTube, 8 o'clock East Coast, 5 o'clock West Coast. Each week, I have a different guest from a different uh, walk of life, different seller, uh, different way to sell. And we have segments like scores, duds, shipping tips, uh, thrifting tips, all that good stuff. And then on Sundays, selling past your expiration date, being thrifty or 50, my mother, who is 78 years old, and I host the show. She's 78. She co-hosts a weekly YouTube show. And her and my dad kill it by selling on eBay. So everyone can do it. That show is to encourage new sellers of all ages, but especially the senior sellers, that they can do it. Now, last week, we did Q4 Prep Success. These are the top 20 things you need to be doing in Q4 to be ready. Uh, not in Q4, before Q4, <laughs> to be ready to have a kick-ass Q4. So many people, myself included, get into December, and then they're like, oh my God, I don't have enough shipping supplies. I don't have enough of this product. I just ran out of ink. Ink's back ordered. And with COVID and with our nightmares of our, our USPS right now, you got to be prepared. These are the things you have to do this week. So if you didn't watch last Sunday's show, the second this is over, you will see a link to last Sunday's show. So go check that out, and you will too be ready for Q4. Thank you for tuning in to Scores of the Week number 11. Sign up for that CD course. Trust me, the little you pay for my courses, as soon as you find one of those $175 CDs, it is paid for all my courses, and then everything from that point on is just pure profit in your pocket. Thank you all very much. Stay safe, and I'll see you around the thrift store. <laughs>